Hello, hello, and welcome to my 100-day project. My name is Lisbeth, and I'm a Danish abstract mixed media artist. If you don't know what the 100-day project is, please look at my video from the first day. And I have put a link below in the description box, and there is also a link below in the description box for the playlist for this whole project. Here in this brass box I have bought in a second hand shop. I keep all my small pieces I make every day. And it is here they are going to live when I'm done with the 100 days. My substrate is watercolor paper and I have cut it up in 7 by 15 centimeters. Yeah, what else to say? This video here is week 9 and it is from day 57 to day 63 and um, I think I'm going this color scheme here this week um, I feel like greenish olive colors so this would be the fabric and some papers I will use this week but uh, let us begin and see what this week will bring of exciting. So today is day... Oh, that was the wrong side. I don't want to use that. This is the back side. There's a little difference in the paper. There's more texture to the paper I want up. So uh, yeah, day 57. And it is the 14th of april 2024 yeah so that's clear so you, you really don't need much for these small pieces here yeah. so i have been in my box with uh, these kind of colors here yeah, that is paper and i have this piece of fabric here it is a piece of fabric i have made on my jelly plate and i think i would like an oval here from this piece and I just used regular acrylic paint and you can do that when you want to print your crack bricks yourself um, I don't mind it it is a little stiff but for, because I can stitch in it, but if you don't like that, uh, you can buy a product where you can make acrylic paints. You can put a, a, a medium in the acrylic paint and then it becomes paint for textiles. And that is quite handy. Instead of have both the paints for textiles and paints for, for papers, you can have one kind of paint and a media you can put in so i think that is quite quite smart and i think i like this paper here uh -huh. let's see i also have this but this is perhaps better because then i get covered yeah yeah i think i like that i will glue that down i will uh, remove some of the edge here i don't like a straight edge just a little and then i have my glue paper here and a Glue stick, you of course you can use matte medium or PVA or whatever you like, but uh, I think when the glue stick here is dry, it is quite easy to stitch through it. And since I'm stitching on most of my small pieces here, that is nice. It's a little crooked, but what? Da, da, 
doesn't matter. And there's this white snip up there. I don't want that. So yeah, I can take my scissor and just cut it off there. So and then the piece of fabric. I think I want it there. Yeah. Like I would use the same glue stick for fabric. And um, don't be uh, precious about it. And uh, use a new juicy one and not an old dried one. A dry one. Yeah. I think this looks quite nice. But I will let it dry for a couple of minutes before I stitch into it. I think it is dry enough now for stitching and I have this strange kind of yarn for my knitting days. It is uh, flax or linen and uh, it's I have never seen this kind of yarn before uh, because it is made of two threads, a black and a greenish one and they are put together and turned so it becomes two colors and I have never seen that before and I really like this color here so I have been saving this even though I don't have my knitting business anymore but I think I will just make some small seat stitches here in the oval shape so I will just pre-poke here and again, as you have seen me done many times before, take a little piece of tape and secure my thread because I don't want big knots on my backside of these papers. And seed stitches are just like a, a single stitch. Uh, up and down and I like to make them in totally random so you can also make them double or triple I mean if you make one stitch and one stitch next to it and next to it one two three they are lying parallel and again you place them random that also looks very nice so but i think you can see what i'm doing yeah these small stitches there so I will stitch it and be back. So here I'm done and for the last stitch I'm just going down here yeah, I think there and somehow it always ends up fitting nicely together and you can see I have done it totally random here on the back side but it looks very nice again I will Cut a small piece of tape, secure the thread, and cut it off. Yeah. I think this looks nice, but I think there's missing something down there. And uh, I think I have this paper, perhaps I can cut a little oval shape out of it. I rather want to tear it than cutting it. Yeah, just a piece like this. And put it down here. Yeah. Or perhaps there. there that's better. Just give it a little glue, put it there. So, this was day 57. 
so I think this was a nice one. And now I will leave all my materials here on my tape, my working table in my studio. And um, I feel so privileged and I feel so lucky. I have such a room and I have so many materials. So um, yeah, it is a joy for me every day to come in my studio and do things. I know I have taken some choices, choices during my life so it ended like this and I can have this room but um, yeah I'm really really happy about it but um, it, you can do crafts anywhere just you also have a small piece of table or a small amount of space you can sit and save all your scraps and all your stuff during your life and you will end up having lots of things to work with without having to get out and buy new stuff all the time even though it's also nice to get new stuff but i will always not always but i will also encourage you to use the things you have and be happy with them see you tomorrow bye bye hello hello today is day 50 Eight, and it is the 15th of April 2024 and this piece here is made of some fabric I have jelly printed myself and these are two stripes of paper jelly prints and this here is a old knitting yarn uh, like this and I have just put it around my fingers a couple of times and put it down and on some very big couching. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a little dark, but uh, I think it's a nice one. So see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today is day 59 and it is the 16th of April 2024. And um, it is a little strange this piece here i had a piece of tyvek i have painted and put my iron on it and then i have this fluffy fluffy yarn here i have sewn with but perhaps the tyvek has drowned a little in in here in all this fluffy yarn but uh, i can't do it <laughs> undo it this is a piece of from a book page and uh, with some paint and uh, just a piece of fabric and a snippet of something also of a fabric I can't remember where I got it from but um, perhaps it would have been better with a darker thread here to make it a um, bigger contrast but um, yeah it is like it is so um, Tomorrow perhaps will be a better day. Hi, hi, hello. Good afternoon. I've been busy all morning, so now it's time for the I think it is 60 and it is the 17th. Of April two thousand and twenty four. Yeah, what can we find of interesting things today? I have this piece of paper and I have this piece of fabric. This fabric is a piece I have one of my friends have given me and she had made it herself. So um, and I like it very much. I don't know what kind of fabric it is, so, but I think it is uh, pro potion dyed. But I, frankly, I don't know. But I guess it is that. So uh, I will take a snippet of it off. I don't want this there. Perhaps. We'll see there. And I'll get out of 
just finish it. So. Isn't that a lovely sound? Tearing fabric. I like it. Again, I will fray the edges. Perhaps I need to cut a little more of that, a little piece more, if I can, yeah, there, and then I have this piece here, I think fits nice. curled up <laughs> um, I have a piece from an old it's money but it's pound so it must be British perhaps I can use a piece of this there or what else can I come up with I also have this oh yeah A nice piece here. Perhaps a little too big. I have it at the seam here. I can try and see if I can rip a little. Yeah, that way it won't tear. So I will have to. Try the other way. Sorry for your yes. <laughs> it curled up a little, but yeah, I think I like that. I will glue these two pieces down here first. And here is my glue stick, and here is my. like these small things sticking out oh it is sitting on the knees yeah and then this piece up here I will keep that this is everywhere now <laughs> Perhaps. And what about this piece here? So let's 
it's too obvious. I think I like it more this way. And, uh, Can we come up with I know it's a little naughty to tell money, but uh, I think it was an old ten pounds and I can't use it anymore. I really don't if I like it. I will uh, look a little further and see if I can find something else I can use. I found a small bit of this. I think it's from an old curtain. Uh, perhaps this would look nice if I put it under. This piece here. Yeah, I think I like that more than the 10 pound notes. So, yeah, I also have this piece here. I don't know what it is. If, if I can tear a bit of that off. All the, all the, uh, that looks nice too. Yeah, I think I will glue this piece down and use this very greenish yellowish thing. As you can see, there are so many, many possibilities, and sometimes you will have to take. A decision or make a decision can't sit here all day and often when that decision is as good as the next especially in a project like this where you make so many so This the piece. This was the piece, yeah. And I will just give it a little glue stick and then I will find some thread and sew it on and uh, I have chosen this yarn and I can't quite remember what it is, but uh, I'm a member of what we here in Denmark have, uh, uh, the Danish Yarn Association or just Yarn Association and the homepage is yarn.dk and there you can buy all sorts of very special paper yarns and hemp yarns, so yeah. Yeah, really ex very exciting and uh, different yarns than you can buy in the local shops. The only thing is you have to be a member to buy yarns there. And, uh, 
it, uh, you, put, you pay a fee for one time and then you are a member and, and every time you have to renew, renew your membership for a very, very small fee. And then you can buy, buy all these lovely yarns they have. I have bought many yarns there. So I will just do some straight stitches to secure this. Perhaps it is mulberry, colored mulberry bark. Yeah, but I'll be back. Done with this and I have made some really quite ugly big straight stitches. And when I was done, I think it needed a little more. So I had a metal bead I had just sewn on. So this was day 60 and uh, it ended up quite nice. See you tomorrow. Hi and welcome to another day here on my 100 day project. This is day and I have written it in the wrong end, but it is day 61 and it is the 18th of April. And uh, this piece here is a piece of uh, dyed fabric from a friend I have and a piece of wax paper and from an old book page, some straight stitches, straight stitches with a cotton, heavy cotton thread. And this round thing here is a bead, uh, I think it's called Mother Earth bead, a uh, pearl bead or something. And um, yeah, it's quite nice. The green looks nice with this. So that was a quite easy one, this here. So um, yeah, what was it, day 61? So uh, see you again tomorrow. Bye bye. Good morning to another day here at the 100 Day Project. This is day 62 and it is the 19th of April. And this is a, I think it is a quiet one. I have used a piece of very loose um, weaved fabric and I have jelly printed myself. And this is a jelly printed paper. And this is a piece of cloth. I, I really don't remember where I got it from. And this little face here is a fabric sticker and don't ask me where I have it from. Uh, I have so many things in all small boxes everywhere. So it is just digging those boxes when I need something. And then uh, there are some straight stitches up there. Perhaps I should have made them in a darker color, but I'd like the, this. It is quite silent or quite, uh, yeah, it's it's a quiet one, so that's fine. So let us see what we can come up with tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day in this week, so um, it better be a good one. So bye-bye uh, for now. Hello, hello. Today is... Uh, I will write it on the back, day 63, and it is the 20th of April, 2024. So let us see what we can fix today. I have this piece of paper I like very much. It is from... Um, a till roll from a supermarket and I have uh, painted it through a stencil with the dark green paint and then I have set my heat gun to it and then the white paper has turned black and I don't think you should do it inside or you should do it outside or have all your windows open um, and then I have this piece here Perhaps I should make it a little smaller. If I can rip it this way, yeah. 
and perhaps also to leave a bit of here. This button, I need to cut a little of that off too. If I keep doing that, it will disappear at the end. So, like this, and like this, and I think I want this edge to be torn also. this, like this, maybe this a little too long, here, and here, perhaps this is better this way, and then I have this crazy kind of paper here, or oh, what else can I come up with? Ah, that's too much. That don't fit. Yeah. I think I like this one. I can't remember what it is, but it is something uh, quite heavy and I have crumpled it. So perhaps like this. Yeah, I think I like that. And what can we do else? I also have this. No. I will start gluing them down and uh, I will be back when, back when I have glued them down. Yeah, they are glued down now and I didn't say, but this is a quite ordinary piece of uh, cotton fabric. In, I have bought it in this color and then I have dripped a little uh, chlorine on it and then the color disappears and you can make a lot of exciting patterns with that and I, I can't remember if it was last week or the week before i have a whole week where i used black cloth and where i made all the patterns with chlorine so uh, but let us see i have this round sticker of some kind and i think it would look nice there and then this is a bead from, I think it is made of resin, and I think that would look nice there. So I will sew that on and be back. So the bead is sewn on and uh, it looks nice. And I think I will do a little round thing here in blanket stitches. Um, I don't, I think. Perhaps you call it a pinwheel in English, but I'm not quite sure. But uh, I can show you. So again, I will take my little punch thing here. It's the one my hobby has made for me, but you can easily make one yourself with a corkscrew and a darning needle and mark it up here and give it a little piece of glue and let it dry. And then you have a nice poking tool tool but uh, I will go in the middle here and just around sometimes when you you poke in dark fabric you almost can't see the The holes but uh, I can see them clearly here so I will come up in the outside ring of the circle oh, it's a little longer circle but it's still a circle and, uh, secure my thread I don't hope this will be the phrase on my tombstone save your thread I think I have said it so many times 
Yeah, and then I keep my thumb here in the loop, come up in the, you go uh, opposite the clock wise. Come up here and go in the loop and come up and then you can tie the thread and you go down in the loop again. Come up in the next hole and be inside the loop. And take the thread here. Perhaps this is a little thick, too thick, thick this thread, but I don't have any thread that is thinner in this color. So it will be like it is again, and when you are nearly around, like it will be a little crowded in the middle, in the middle hole there. But uh, then you will have to use a little force, or you can massage it a little to make it bigger. And up here. This is a really ugly color, this plastic I have on the bottom. Works very nice. Yeah, I think you got the meaning here. The important thing is to get up in the loop because if you don't, the whole thing will unravel. So you can see there. But I will do it off camera and be back. And now I have come to the last stitch, so I go down in the middle hole again and can come up here where I started in the loop, inside the loop, and drag it in the thread. And then I go down in the same hole again on the other side of the thread, and then it is secured. And then I will secure the thread with my tape on the other side so uh, yeah i think this looks very nice so uh, this was the last one in this week here so i um, don't know if you're doing the 100 day project and uh, now it is also in a little over the middle so but you're gonna always do something every day but I uh, hope you like following me, looking at my small pieces here in this project. And um, perhaps uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. So or perhaps consider subscribing so you can see what videos I will come up with. But until next week, uh, take care, be creative. So bye bye for now.